Hey guys, Harry Thomas here, and you guys all love my top 10 best movies of 2014. Thank you all uh, so much to the moon and back for your uh, kind support on, on that uh, video. Uh, so, uh, to uh, thank you all, I'm uh, giving you guys uh, the other video that you have been waiting for, my top 10 worst movies of 2014. I mean, 2014 was one of the greatest years for movies that I can remember in all the years I've been alive, but uh, it ain't perfect. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, 2014 uh, did uh, have some uh, movies uh, that uh, were uh, not so uh, good for kids or uh, and others uh, that uh, destroyed uh, in the reputation of franchises uh, and others that just uh, bored me uh, to death. So uh, before I begin my list, here are uh, just a couple of dishonourable mentions. Godzilla, Oegi, and Annabelle, all failures. They were just lucky enough for to uh, miss uh, my uh, list. So, uh, without further ado, if you want to know my uh, biggest uh, movie disasters of 2014, then just keep watching. At number 10, a movie I wanted uh, to be good, uh, but uh, this uh, was uh, just the wrong way to do the Exodus story from the Bible, Exodus, Gods and Kings. Yeah, Ridley Scott, uh, 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 I expect a uh, far better from him than than this, uh, and uh, and and Christian Bale and Sigourney Weaver uh, deserve uh, infinitely better. I mean, everything is forgettable about this movie. Yeah, everything it sucked out all the epicness and uh, charm and uh, and meaning of of. Uh, the uh, classic uh, story of Moses and and the fact that they bury Moses in mud when he talks to a god in the burning bush. I mean, that is the weakest way to execute that scene uh, possible. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, Exodus, Scots and Kings uh, can go uh, screw itself. Uh, Prince of Egypt is a hundred percent better than this. At number nine, please don't hurt me, Hunger Games fans. Uh, just hear me out, sir. Uh, the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. The uh, Mockingjay should not have been two movies. It should have just been one long epic three hour movie. The only reason they split it into two parts, just like Twilight Breaking Dawn and uh, uh, Divergence uh, 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 Allegiance, uh, was because Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows uh, did that, sir. But, but, so. Uh, but Harry Potter was the only franchise that was justified in dismissing its finale into two parts, as there was uh, literally uh, well, four hours uh, worth of film or two and story to, to tell with that conclusion, whereas Mockingjay does not uh, nearly have a, uh, that much uh, uh, st story uh, to tell. So. Uh, so this, so part one is a absolute slugger to get through. It has the pacing of a slugger that uh, is a uh, stuck. It's it never kicks into second gear. It's a uh, it never uh, uh, builds uh, the tension so high to the point where you're just like, uh, yeah, uh, I'm ready for part two. All right, and and uh, and then the scene where. Uh, Katniss gets uh, chokes at the end. I, I couldn't care less because I knew she was going to be all right. Uh, yeah, I really think the Hunger Games is the most, uh, one of the most overrated uh, franchises of the 2010s. At number eight, a, a, a movie that uh, is uh, the reason of why everybody. Uh, calls a January a uh, dumping ground for uh, uh, all the uh, bad movies, I Frankenstein. Uh, I guess it's uh, uh, it's not so uh, as, uh, I, I guess it's not so uh, as uh, torturous to sit through as the 1994 Frankenstein, but I Frankenstein is still a frustrating uh, mess uh, that uh, does the character uh, zero justice, even Aaron Eckhart and, and Miranda also uh, could not uh, 
savour this uh, recipe for disaster and it's far too short and and uh, abrupt at just uh, 92 minutes and uh, the war between the gargoyles and the demons uh, was had never uh, anything to do with the origin of of a uh, Fra frankenstein himself uh, so yeah i am um, uh, overjoyed uh, that this movie uh, bombed spectacularly financially. Number seven, Pudsy the Movie. Ah, oh, this is uh, simply one of the worst uh, British uh, kids movies I have ever seen in my entire life. Uh, it is a total and utter doggy doo doo. It is evident that the filmmakers uh, behind uh, this uh, stinker uh, has uh, no. Uh, interest in uh, even a trying uh, so on no account uh, uh, should you ever let say your kids uh, watch this they will find this uh, a worse punishment than being grounded at number six one of the uh, animated uh, atrocities of 2014 that did a total disservice uh, to all animation the nut job how did this thing even get a seat or green lids. Uh, I mean, I mean, they should have stopped at, at, at zero with with this one. I mean, I thought Over the Hedge was was bad, but so the nut job is uh, far worse than Over the Hedge. Uh, the uh, the nut. I have nothing good I can say about this movie. I mean, anybody who thought so, that this uh, was a uh, clever or funny premise for a animated movie were just nutters uh, and um, and why is uh, the protagonist squirrel purple uh, uh, filmmakers anybody with even uh, a, a quarter of a brain knows that squirrels are not purple at number five strike two for garbage animation 2014 legends of oz dorothy's return I mean, uh, I mean, this is the never-ending story return to Fantasia of the Wizard of Oz franchise. Uh, I mean, after Oz the Great and Powerful, uh, this uh, uh, was uh, the uh, biggest step below uh, that, uh, that the, the, the Wizard of Oz franchise could have possibly go. The animation is abysmal, the character designs are horrifying, and they're is um, nothing to justify uh, this movie uh, even existing. Um, just uh, what if you want a, a decent animated Wizard of Oz movie, just watch a Lion of Oz. At number four, maybe uh, the worst uh, January movie of all time that made I Frankenstein uh, look uh, like a Citizen Kane, The Legend of Hercules. I just want to uh, tear out my hair by the dozen whenever I'm forced to watch uh, The Legend of Hercules. I mean, I mean, at uh, first this and Legends of Oz, Dorothy's Return, you know, studios stop putting the word legends in, in movie titles uh, because they are guaranteed uh, to uh, suck if you do that. I mean, everybody's favourite Zero a Hero uh, comes back in a movie that deserves a big fat Zero. I mean, I mean, the acting uh, is uh, diabolical, the, the CGI is uh, uh, the worst, and, and the rising with the acting and uh, the romance are too atrocious uh, for words. I mean, this is the definition of a Greek tragedy and uh, still uh, the worst Hercules movie ever made, period. I mean, the, I mean, the Dwayne Johnson Hercules that came out the exact same year was by no means a masterpiece, uh, but, uh, but it's uh, still a godlike in comparison to this. And, and if you want the best Hercules movie, just watch the Disney animated Hercules instead. At number three, Postman Pat's the movie. Oh, yeah, uh, I mean, at least 2014 didn't have anything like the Emoji movie, but uh, it may be the second worst year for uh, animation in general and Postman Pat's uh, the movie is uh, is rock solid evidence of, of that I mean I mean I mean Postman uh, 
Matthew Pat the movie may be tied with Sherlock Gnomes as the worst of British animated movie of all time. Uh, do not be manipulated by it, a title, kids. Nothing about this train wreck uh, is Postman Pat. Uh, the uh, original uh, uh, stop motion uh, animated a show that is Postman Pat. That is what so you you should be watching because, I mean. I mean, the, the animation is uh, some of the ugliest ever put to, to the screen, and the and uh, and the fact that it revolves around a a, uh, a t talent show with uh, with Simon Cow or Simon Cow Bell, uh, the Postman Pat version of Simon Cow, you know, uh, judging Pat singing. I mean, when the heck was was singing ever? Uh, a part of the Postman Pat franchise, and if I was Simon Cow judging this movie, I would give it more than just four no's, I would give it like 40 no's, and at number two, Transformers Age of Extinction, or Age of Stinction, uh, talk about how to make a franchise uh, go extinct so uh, rapidly, I mean, I mean, Michael Bay, uh, uh, promised us that Dark of the Moon would be his last Transformers movie, and he even promised us that Age of Extinction would be the shortest. Well, he lied to us and he made a grave mistake. Uh, yeah, a a Age of uh, st Extinction. It was a given that Age of Extinction was would make uh, this uh, what worst list, and uh, I know most of you would put this as number one as the worst movie of 2014, and and uh, I am uh, I am flabbergasted that this is the highest grossing movie uh, of 2014. I mean, that uh, is uh, just uh, a, a miracle, isn't it? And and if you uh, couldn't tell, I was saying that with every single ounce of, of sarcasm. Uh, like, I wish The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies outgrossed this uh, b boring uh, trash. I mean, it, at least it came a close second, but, uh, but talk about uh, boring. I mean, at two hours and 45 minutes. It's uh, the longest in the entire Transformers franchise. I mean, Mark Wahlberg's character uh, uh, treats uh, his own daughter like garbage. If I had a daughter, I would never treat her that that way. She, she deserves a better. And uh, and the and uh, Optimus Prime, you know, uh, with a sword riding uh, Galvatron in in all the marketing. That uh, is literally only for. 10 seconds, uh, you, I mean, you've got to get through uh, one hell of a monstrosity to see that, so, and this would have been number one on my uh, worst list if not for another sequel that uh, uh, nearly killed uh, my f one of my favourite uh, Marvel superheroes, and uh, I know uh, you all know what it is, and my number one worst movie of 2014 is The Amazing Spider-Man 2, or The Abysmal Spider-Man 2. Uh... Excuse me uh, while I go and, and vomit and... <laughs> This is uh, a shiny example of a don't uh, see movie. Uh, yeah, that this is the black sheep of Spider-Man. It is, it is the die another day of superhero movies. Uh, it, it is the Lion King remake of superhero movies. Uh, even supporters of the first Amazing Spider-Man turned away from the Andrew Garfield verse after this uh, disgrace uh, to movies. Um, I mean, I mean, uh, this uh, movie is uh, so uh, overstuffed uh, with a bajillion subplots that it feels like uh, it feels like uh, your your brain is going to explode uh, just uh, processing everything that happens. I mean, I mean. I mean, Spider-Man 3 is uh, far uh, easier to follow in comparison to, to this, and uh, I mean, it's a, it did uh, 
it did ha ha Harry Osborne uh, horribly. It it, uh, it did uh, the Rhino uh, t terribly, and uh, and uh, and boy uh, did it so uh, uh, screw up Electro. Uh, and and uh, but the worst thing uh, is uh, what it does uh, to Gwen Stacy at the very end, which is uh, one of uh, the uh, most one of the worst and most uh, indefensible movie endings I've ever seen in my entire life period. Uh, yeah, uh, without Gwen Stacy, there is uh, no hope for Amazing Spider-Man 3, so a uh, good thing they Sony realised they screwed up and cancelled it. Yeah, I am proud to call the Amazing uh, Spider-Man 2 uh, the worst movie of 2014. So that was my top 10 worst movies of 2014, and uh, uh, now that I've done 2014, I will move on to the 2013 uh, lists at some point and uh, and uh, up for uh, next on my channel is a, a special review as requested by a subscriber for uh, their birthday my review to celebrate its 20th anniversary of Atlantis the Lost Empire well I love you guys thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed this uh, top 10 worst listen what are your top 10 worst movies from 2014 please comment and let me know please like this video and subscribe please follow you on Twitter and on Instagram and I'll see you next time and remember movies are us bye guys